What's up with it? What's up with it, man? It's the Bronco with the Fro coming at you with another reaction video. We got UFC 252 embedded. Embedded. <laughs> Vlog series episode 2. I reacted to episode 1 yesterday, so go ahead and go check that out before you watch this video if you haven't. We finna see what what goes down in Daniel Cormier, Stipe Miocic, Lil Sugar Sean O'Malley. We finna see what goes down preparing up leading to the fight. So let's see what goes. Hold on. And like I say... Last episode, I think Sugar Sean gonna pull it out, and I think DC gonna win via eye pokes. Let's see what goes down. Salon, somebody in the little beauty district. Who is this, Sugar Sean? Getting his little hair done, hair dyed. Yep, I knew it. I called it. I say Sugar Sean getting his hair dyed. Got me some pizza rolls right here. Shout out to Tio. What did you want to say? Pepperoni and bacon, baby. I saw that color show. Yeah, they look like hairstylists, Woo! massage oh, therapists, physical therapists, uh, chef, nutritionist. You name it. I don't know why I thought he died his own hair. They boy over here looking like Seth Rollins. Just loved it. Looking like a wrestler. We're gonna keep going with going with it. I like it. Ooh, that blue looks Yeah, his hair pretty long. I ain't gonna lie. Musically, for me it's it's fighting. I express myself that way. And then the hair is just, you know. I can't sit down that long, bro. Ecuadorian flag. Then these girls are the ones creative on on how to make it happen. So, this fight is a little different. You know, DC versus... Bro, when I saw that, I was like, bro, maybe I can dye my hair like that. I was like, maybe I can dye my hair like that. It wouldn't look like, I look like a clown. Because, you know, clowns wear afros. I got an afro, so... I would look goofy as hell. Yeah, that's tough. If I was a fighter and I had a family, that would be the toughest thing, bro. You know, you know. They're going to be home, and they're going to be watching and rooting and praying that I can get the job done. And I know I will. I'm ready. We'll see, DC. We'll see if you get the job done, man. Just stop with the eye pokes, bro. And guard your stomach this time. Don't let Steve Bay keep doing that little dip left hook to the body. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah Steve Payne, that would have scared the fuck out of me. He said, hey, hold on, hold on, snap. Don't beat me up. Yo, Steve Payne wife kind of bad. Hey, she kind of bad, no cap. Boy, they both look evil as hell at the bottom right. Who jumps in a pool like that? <laughs> My boy did a seated cannonball. Two, three, go. Yeah, Steve Pay a good dude, bro. You know, it's, it's awesome. You know, just puts a smile on my face. I wanna I'm torn because I really want to see DC win. Like, DC been my guy for the longest. But Steve Pay a really Steve Pay really a cool guy though. Yeah, yeah, he say, unfortunately, your last fight against me, that's that's bad. He said he finna knock you out, send you home crying. For this fight, it's been like my last fight, and it's in such a weird time. Like, and we've been here so many times to fight, and it's just like the most insane place in the world to fight, you know? Your last fight finna be in front of no fans, man. Like, just come on. Everywhere. Fight John Jones again and get dropped. It's just like, it's not gonna be that. John Jones it's is hands crazy. down the undisputed GOAT. I remember the first time I ever fought in Las Vegas, how excited I was because I had never, you know, they just come from Strike Force. This fight's gonna be a little more like your very first fight. It'll be more like that than anything I've ever done. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nobody did. Strike Force challengers. But no, it's like, it'll be like, it'll be like fighting in this sparring room. 
Yeah. But oh, this DC uh, first time fighting in front of no crowd. Well, like, that's basically I everybody's, but. Patrick Cummins. That was the first time I ever fought in Las Vegas. I remember being all excited because I was fighting at <laughs> the Mandalay Bay. That boy, uh, yeah, DC looked like a pit bull the down there at the bottom right. right. Obviously, Team Mobile's had, you know, a phenomenal arena, but just the whole vibe of fighting at Mandalay and at, uh... Yeah, you can't feed no energy. You can't get no energy from the crowd. It's basically a sparring session, bro. You got to dig deep within. You know, some fighters, the crowd, like, you know, pump through them and get them energized. I go through phases where I'll read a lot more. I think those two years off, I was reading, like, every day. This describes how I feel in the cage. The soul happens only when the artist disappears into the art. He is no longer separate. That boy is still Some getting his hair done. Has done it through him. He knows that he has been possessed. Hey, you never know why he getting his hair done. His opponent could be the training. Great artists down the ages. I remember saying in my fights, I'm telling you, I feel as possessed. I don't feel like <laughs> that. dog made me laugh every time. Um, Even the dog so got the little dog hair. I'm going back and rewatching it because it's like watching it almost like for the first time. That's live though. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, I ain't know that was his girl. Cause you you're such a good boy. You're so cute. You know that. That dog ain't paying him no more. Things that I always take my human. That boy packing. No, no, no. I really need to start packing because I'm going back to college this weekend, man. Usually I will have. That's what I need to do. I need to start packing too, man. Some sweet shoes and stuff for media day. But now it's all online. Just doesn't get me as motivated. Yeah, I feel you on it, bro. Still cool doing the virtual stuff, but like I say, you gotta dig with deep within. Like you don't get the hype and the adrenaline from the crowd, man. So Just gotta fight and make money doing doing what we love at a time like this. So can't can't really complain too much. Viva Las Vegas. Extreme Couture. I'm gonna do like some sparring and some pads with all these guys. I'm gonna go like three rounds sparring. I guess these are the only three dudes that's gonna be shown on here. It's gonna be DC, Stipe, and Sugar Sean. I ain't gonna lie, Sugar Sean got the capability of being one of the biggest. He came out of nowhere too. I ain't heard a dude till. Not when he got the walk off KO to fight before that. I forgot who car he was fighting on. Hey, what's that uh, Dagestanian dude? Opponent. I think he Dagestanian. There it is. Chop up with that hook when he goes back down. Chavez, he fought like two times in two weeks. He I up on the rise too, bro. He gonna be big. And I become the UFC heavyweight champion for the second time. Counter, there we go. That's it. It's a very comforting feeling knowing that I've done the work and that I can get the job done. Mm -hmm. ah. It's crazy to me always seeing DC fight. Because he's so little and fat, like, and he looked like a dad. Like, why Why is he in the ring on some stuff from the outside of looking in? But he get to knocking people out, get to picking them up, slamming them on their head. That boy's DC a beast, bro. His kryptonite is John Jones. We've all figured out that we put our egos aside. We put, you know, everything in check. Because we're all after a certain goal. And, you know, me, Rosendo, Bob, Hob, Leandro, and everybody else has been a part of what we've been doing for the last eight years. Damn near eight years. <laughs> there you go. So now, you know, we really get the chance to cherish it. <laughs> These scenes just need to go ball, bro. Let that go. Let that hairline go, bro. It's closer to the last time that we're going to do this. And uh, it's it's bittersweet, you know, every time because we're closing the chapter on that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, hopefully we're going to close it with our hands raised and, and uh, some celebratory vibes after the fight. Mm -hmm. Two, three. <laughs> Two, three, body. <laughs> Beautiful. I can't wait for this fight, man. I don't know about y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what you want to react to next time out.